Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. In our last videos, we have solved A set Jan 2018 question paper or mathematics and statistics section. So today we are going to start with our data interpretation section. So let us start with our very first sum that is question number 32. So question 32 says the elements of sets P, Q and R are given in a Venn diagram. This set P union in brackets we have Q intersection R. So let us start finding this. So in our bracket we have Q intersection R. So let us first find the part Q intersection R. So in this diagram you can see Q intersection R is this part. So let me shade the total area. So this is our Q intersection R part and in secondly we have P union that part so taking P together so we need to take total P together so this is our whole P here so this part we have in P this part also in P we have so this shaded region is the required region so let's check which points are involved in this we have here A here we have B here we have D here we have E and here we have F so our involved points are A comma B comma D comma E and F so this is the required set so let's check the options so option number A matches with our answer hence option A is the correct answer to question number 32 so now let's move on to our next question that is question number 33 so question 33 says consider the frequency distribution given in the following table so we have been given class interval and the frequencies of these class intervals so we need to find the type of this distribution whether it is u-shaped it's negatively skewed it's symmetric or it is positively skewed so seeing this we can draw a rough graph so this graph something looks like this so this is the graph uh, this is not exactly the graph but it will lose something look like this let this point be 4 somewhere here we have 15 this is our 30 this is 16 this will be our 11 let this be 7 this be 5 and this be 2 so here we have the class intervals so dividing this line in exactly center so you can see that the peak is on the left that is it is left skewed left side skewed so we can say that left skewed so it is positively skewed hence our answer to this question is option number d that is positively skewed so now let's move on to our next question so here is our next section it says answer questions 34 to 36 based on the data given in the table below table the age distribution of people in a country so here we have age groups and here we have percentage of population of that age so let us start with our very first question here so our first question is 34 it says the percentage of people below 30 years age is so we need to find below 30 years so we need to take this and this one this one also this and this and the last one so till here okay so not this one we need to find till here till here we have 29 age so let's find how many people belong to this group we have here 7 this is 14 this is again 7 again 7 and this is last 7 so adding these we will get our answer to the question so this is equal to 42 hence our answer to this question is 42 that is option number a so now let's move on to our next question that is question number 35 it says the percentage of people with age 55 years is so percentage of people with age 55 so here we have 55 and okay so 55 belongs to this so among 10 per percent of people any number of persons can be of 55 year age so we need to add all these first so this will be 7 plus we have 14 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 15 plus 14 so this will be merely equal to 
something uh, okay so we don't need to add these because we have been asked above 55 years here we have above 55 years so we need to find the sum of last three so above 55 years it can be that these 10 people can be above 55 also or exactly 55 also if these 10 people belong to exactly 55 age group then these 10 people cannot be added so this uh, only it will be 6 plus 6 which is equal to 12 but it can happen that these 10 people belong to age group from 56 to 65 so we need to add these also so this can be added like this so our number of persons above age 55 can be between 12 to 22 any number so it belongs to 12 to 22 so our answer to this question is between 12 to 22 so now let's move on to our next question that is the ratio of people with age 65 and above to people in the age group 45 comma 65 is so we need to find the ratio so let us find here so above age group we have 65 so above 65 we have only two age groups that is from 66 to 75 and 75 and over so this will be 6 plus 6 that is equal to 12 so our first element of the ratio is 12 and the second we have been said the people in the age group 45 to 65 so here we have 45 to 55 and here we have 55 to 65 so we need to add both of them that is 14 plus 10 which is equal to 24 so this is our second element of the ratio so our ratio is 12 is to 24 so dividing both sides by 12 we will get 1 is to 2 so let's check which of the option matches with our answer here so option number a matches with our answer that is 1 is to 2 hence answer to question number 36 is option a so i will like to end uh, this video right here you will find solution to our further questions in our next video